Thank you, Senor Presidente. And gentlemen, Chile defines itself as a unitary country, as it pointed out in its national report of the Working Group on the UPR. This signifies that it does not recognize the existence of people such as the Mubuche with their own singularities, contrary to the recommendations of Slovenia on the implementations of violence and promoting cultural uniformity based on a European ethnocentric vision. And uh, the constitutional reform bill in Parliament now has not been the uh, result of consultations with indigenous peoples, thus simulating a constitutional recognition. This is one more confirmation of hegemony and colonialism. The Chilean government is endeavoring to dispossess the Mapuche of their cultural identity and life forms by denying them the right to the principal source of their existence, their ancestral lands, source of its cultural identity and spirituality, far from redressing the unjust treatment arising uh, from the violent annexation of the Mapuche territory by the Republic of Chile at the end of the 1880s, the government is endeavoring to perpetuate this policy, which is exclusive and genocidal, and aimed at uh, thwarting the existence of the people through the assimilation process. The indigenous peoples, in particular Mapuche, are rarely consulted on matters of concern to them, whether this be in projects of development or infrastructure. In the Arauco, for instance, there are 650 projects that have not been concluded that are promoted by the governmental institution of the indigenous, and because these projects are without funding. Chile also has voted in favor of the UN Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples. However, contrary to the recommendations of Guatemala, like Chile,